Okay, let me see. Um, so where does the stigs come in? Good question. So the stigs, the way you could use stigs, and if for those of you who don't know, okay, let me just let's just let me just stop telling you here and let me just show you. A stig is a security technical implementation guide. And basically what it does, Stig Viewer is a pretty good site, by the way. These guides tell you exactly what you're what uh, what you're supposed to see when a security control, a technical security control, is implemented. So if I go to see how it has NIST 53 right here, NIST 53, it has every single control and everything you're supposed to see. Let's just go to the one we just saw here. Let's look at RA5 like we did before here. There it is, right there. I'm just going to click on RA5. Let me just move my head out of the way here. So we just take a quick look at that. There's RA5. And there's a there's a doc there's a, like a a scanning tool you can download. There's documents you can download. But I just wanted to just go to Stig Viewer real quick to kind of show you what I'm talking about. So here's Stig Viewer. And um, it's telling basically everything we just looked at is right is is here. Everything we looked at in 53 is is here. There's a more technical item that I want to show you. If I could find it, I I want to say I have it on my computer, but uh, I would have to go and look for that. But it's this is everything we just looked at in uh, 53. But let me see if I could show you some more a better breakdown of this document. Let me see here. Unclassified stick. Um, implementation guide, Windows. Okay, let's look at a scanner for Windows. So it, it's just a super in detailed breakdown of what you're going to see for each aspect, each technical aspect. It depends on what you're talking about. Let's say we were talking about, mm, let me see, I'm trying to find something easy, like Windows 10 or something like that. Windows 10. Let's find a Windows 10 system. Windows 10. Something not too too difficult for myself. Windows, Microsoft Windows 10. Word 10? See how it says every application? It's just so in depth. Okay, this is taking too long. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna choose something. Microsoft Publisher. Your question was where do the stigs come in when you're talking about assessments? So an assessor could use the stigs like you're seeing here, to validate whether or not security has been implemented on, say, Microsoft Publisher 2016. This security technical impl implementation guide uh, is very, very detailed. And let me just give you an example of what I'm talking about here. So if we look at this first VID here, vulnerability ID, we can see that what we're supposed to see is a add-in to office applications and they must be signed by a trusted publisher. If we don't see that, then that's a problem. And as you can see, it just goes through this whole list of, of items here. And there's no, this doesn't have any category one. So category one is like a high level vulnerability if I'm, if I'm remembering correctly. Category, medium is, is a medium level vulnerability. And category ones are things that are this would be like if uh, if the username and password was exposed like if you if there was a vulnerability that if you didn't enable something on this particular application it would this would be <laughs> something that somebody could just log right in and then they they can own the box you know it, it turns out that these are most these are all mediums so I'm just gonna give you something let me let's find something that's very easy to understand here because these get way in the weeds so we're supposed to see a warning bar setting for VBA macros must be configured, right? So typically you could, as an assessor, literally use this document. You can use the stigs and say, okay, take me to this 
um, to Windows 32, System 32. Let me see if this script is running, right? But typically what an assessor is going to do is just run a script. And then the script is going to tell you them if they're compliant with the uh, seven, what is this? 7,000, 70,763. <laughs> because you can have thousands of these things. So it doesn't make any sense to go through it manually. So you, you typically, where the stigs come in, the stigs is just a complete breakdown of everything you're supposed to see, but you typically have a scanner to do this. And this is be something that I would make a whole course about, like, cause I know how to actually use, download the scanner, run the scanner, how to interpret the actual scan results and all that kind of stuff is what I know how to do. So that, that, that would take, you know, that's hours of me teaching. So I hope that answers your question. I know that's pretty involved, but that's, that's what you could use the STIGs for if you are an assessor. But typically, STIGs are used for the people who are implementing the security controls on a given system. And you got Red Hat. Look at this. Look at the, the list here. You got Red Hat. Uh, you got Samsung Android devices. You got Solaris. It's very exhaustive. It's just got tons and tons of stuff here that, that kind of walk you through each iteration of, of all these different uh, software from different vendors. Bishop says Stig's Stig is a configuration standard mostly for DOD. Yes, that's true. But uh, another thing is that many other organizations actually use these. I was in aerospace, and, and to my surprise, they were using Stig's um, a lot. So yeah, Stig's are they're so comprehensive that people all over are now using them. The Stig's contain technical guide guidance uh, on how the network. Um, has has been hardened. Yes, absolutely. It has network stuff. You've got it for enclaves. You've got it for individual servers. You've got it for um, all kinds of different devices and aspects of a network inside and outside, by the way. So yeah, that's a stig. And um, I've kind of gone over a little bit, guys. So I'm gonna I'm gonna close this one out. Thank you guys for watching so much. There's gonna be a lot of different stuff that I'm gonna that's coming in the future. Um, on for those of you who are taking the course and everything, I appreciate every every single person who's supported me over over the years. I really appreciate you, and that's why I'm going to continue to give tons of free stuff on my site, on on um, on YouTube, and also I'm going to start doing some stuff on TikTok. Apparently, TikTok's not all dancing, so uh, <laughs> I'm going to start putting some like short concise videos on there on how to do things um so if you want to catch me on there it's combo courses uh at combo courses and i'm also on uh instagram go check me out there check it out and i've got a couple people commenting one main says no problem thank you so much sir and um let me see okay somebody's thing just got blocked out for some reason bishop you didn't show didn't show up Okay, I don't know why his comment got retracted. Anyway, thanks a lot, guys. I appreciate everyone. Um, I will see you guys next week. And um, 